I'm Monica Morrow, Chief of the Breast Service at Memorial Sloan Kettering Cancer Center and Professor of Surgery. And at the BGICC, I was talking about the use of neoadjuvant chemotherapy to downstage the axilla in women with breast cancer. So we've reached a time where axillary dissection can no longer be considered the standard of care for the majority of women with breast cancer. And we know that in women who present with palpable nodes that are biopsy proven to show cancer, that neoadjuvant therapy is the one option available to allow downstaging to avoid axillary dissection. And we now have four prospective multi-center trials that show us that the false negative rate of sentinel node biopsy is less than 10% when three or more negative sentinel nodes are obtained. So that's a requirement for avoiding axillary dissection as is pathologic complete response in the lymph nodes. And in a prospective study that we did at Memorial, using that approach, approximately 41% of 600 women with biopsy-proven nodal disease were able to avoid axillary dissection, so a substantial number. The likelihood of avoiding axillary dissection varies with ER, PR, and HER2 status, and is about 80% in ER negative HER2 positive breast cancers, 50% in triple negative and ER positive and HER2 positive breast cancers, and only 20% in ER positive HER2 negative breast cancers. The presence of lymphovascular invasion in the specimen is a negative factor for avoiding axillary dissection. Now, one of the concerns about this approach was that until relatively recently, there were no outcome data available, but there are now several small series with follow-up ranging from two to five years that show that the risk of nodal recurrence when axillary dissection is not performed is less than 3%, indicating that this is a safe approach. Now, one area of concern has been women with micrometastases. In patients who undergo upfront surgery, we know that micrometastases are associated with a low likelihood of other positive lymph nodes in the axilla, and a randomized trial has shown us that axillary dissection does not contribute to survival in that group. So we don't do axillary dissection for micrometastases or for isolated tumor cells. In the setting of neoadjuvant therapy, the picture is a little bit different because micrometastases could represent just a low tumor burden in the node, or they could represent residual drug-resistant disease left in that node, which could be associated with a higher tumor burden in the axilla. And a study that we have done shows that about 60% of women with micrometastases in the sentinel node after neoadjuvant therapy will actually have additional positive lymph nodes in their axilla, which is the same rate of additional positive nodes as women with macrometastases. And a large study from the National Cancer Database in the United States has shown that the prognostic significance of micrometastases after neoadjuvant therapy is the same as for N1 disease. So axillary dissection remains standard for these patients. So how do we decide whether to approach women with upfront surgery or with neoadjuvant therapy? In the setting of palpable positive nodes, neoadjuvant therapy is the only option, but for women who do not have palpable adenopathy and who are at risk for having a positive sentinel node, then you have to make a decision for upfront surgery and apply the Z11 approach, meaning axillary dissection only if there are three or more positive nodes or neoadjuvant therapy. And it turns out that which approach is best varies depending on ER, PR, and HER2 status and whether the patient is having a mastectomy or a lumpectomy. For ER positive HER2 negative patients who are having lumpectomy, surgery up front is the best approach. Giving neoadjuvant therapy triples the likelihood that you will need to do an axillary dissection because pathologic complete response in the nodes is rare. For HER2 positive and triple negative patients undergoing breast conservation, there's no difference in axillary dissection whether you do primary surgery or neoadjuvant therapy. But if the patient is having a mastectomy where the presence of any positive nodes is an indication for axillary dissection, then for HER2 positive and triple negative patients, the likelihood of needing an axillary dissection is reduced 75 to 85 to 80% by giving neoadjuvant therapy, and that's the best approach. 
So management of the axilla has become increasingly complex and requires a multidisciplinary approach and will vary with ERPR and HER2 status, whether or not the patient has palpable nodes or metastatic disease found only on sentinel node biopsy, and whether she's having a mastectomy or a lumpectomy. And these questions are best approached in a multidisciplinary fashion. Thank you.